<laughs> Dan, Dan, you said we were making a video today. How did you get in my house? Uh, I'm from South Africa. <laughs> Daniel James Hall is an English professional vlogger and BBC Radio 1 personality. He is best known for his YouTube channel, Dan Is Not On Fire. He is a legend. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, hi. <laughs> Apparently, Human Touch, um, it releases okay. dopamine or something. Are you trying to tell me you got a boner or something? Oh, yes. God, this is awkward. When I was like 12, I used to get boners all the time. Did you? Yeah. Did you have one in class? One of those moments? I did, yeah. and then sometimes like you have a boner inappropriately, and you're like, Casper, is that what you want in life? Yeah, like, I know what you mean. When I saw like a, a, a puppy, and then all of a sudden, but it, it didn't mean anything. It right. was just bad timing, yeah. but then all of a sudden you're like, do I want to make out with that dog? <laughs> <laughs> Is it such thing too young for a dog? <laughs> what? Just, You're seriously asking me if there is an age of consent for animals. We've been doing this for like three minutes and we've already <laughs> got on to like young animal sex. We should not make videos together. <laughs> Your first video, I have a no, video. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why did you... Why I'm, did oh you... my god, my jump cuts take like nine <laughs> seconds to happen. Oh, can we quickly have some thumbnail time to make the Do you want to do the thumbnail? Yeah, okay, that's three, right. two, one. Was, was that good? Did you open that? I guess. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can we get on with it? Do you pee in the shower? No, I don't. I don't know why. In There's the something shower. really liberating about pissing down your leg and it's washing away <laughs> do, do you and not, kind of diluting itself. I think most know, people water. usually aim away even if they're in the shower. Do you just no, kind of like let is, loose? The urine's good for the body. Are your farts loud <laughs> or quiet? Wow, all, all the serious questions. Uh, if I'm ever in a social situation, you then... You open up your butt. No, no, I try to make it as... You, you know the fart noise is created by the vibration of the air. Yeah, yeah, so it's like the... The more like tightly so you, you're sitting, it's like more ripply. Yeah. So you <laughs> is that what you do? You, so you open up your bum and you kind of like you have to lean over and. So you practiced in kind of like. Yeah. Do you opening your butt. Whenever you then... have a lot of wind, you can practice. Or... Can you put your feet over your head? Uh -uh. Jesus, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not good for our spines. <sighs> If you started YouTube now, do you yep. think it would be more difficult? I simultaneously think it has never been easier or harder to become a successful YouTuber. There are now so many people that watch YouTube and are kind of just like on the internet that the potential audience is like 50 billion times more than yeah. it was. But then there's more people trying to become well, YouTubers. Well, I feel like it, it's kind of become like big business in a way. Yeah. Now you just have these mighty big channels like Dan is not on fire and fucking Phil. No, there's more channels you know, now. I mean, no, it's just these two guys <laughs> who are just like controlling the internet and I just... I just, I think it, you need to give some space for Casper. You're, the, you kind of like have almost as much space. No. Oh, fuck. Oh. So it's now time for the part of my show where we do the bitch test <laughs> and find out whether you're a bitch or not. A friend gets you a sweater for your birthday that you saw on sale last week. <laughs> do you let them know that you know? No, I'm really polite. You run into an ex who curiously has more hair than you. Wait, oh sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> you run into an ex who curiously has more hair now than he or she did when you dated. Do you try not to look and ask how they've been? Uh huh. Play it dumb and ask if they've got contacts. What the fuck is this question about? <laughs> you run into an ex who curiously has more hair now than he did when you dated him. Do you play it dumb and ask if he got contacts? What the <laughs> fuck is that even about? You're only 35% a bitch. I'm only 35% a bitch. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, I feel like a really good person now. You currently have about 3.2 million subscribers. <laughs> yeah, how did that happen? Yeah. yeah. Do you love every single one of them? Pro well, I mean, I don't know every single one of them. One of them could be like- You're a such an asshole. You're just like this guy who became more famous on the internet and you don't love your fans anymore. Okay, so you have how many subscribers, Casper? Two, nearly two. Okay, statistically, one of them is probably a cannibal. Do you love that cannibal? No. Exactly. Does that make you a horrible person for not liking no. the cannibal? No, no, that makes you a normal good person. Thank you, Dan. So now we've come to the segment of the show where I give advice with uh, my special guest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> duh, 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 duh. <coughs> advice with Casper and Dan. Yep. Okay, so my boyfriend of four months now has really been getting on my nerves. And sometimes I'm left to question his sexuality. Where did that come from? How does that have anything? Okay, that's, that's the... Okay, why? Because he gives me fashion advice. <laughs> 
and what color I should paint my nails. He also talks about how we'll have five children. How do I break up with him sensitively? You want to break up with your boyfriend just because you don't like him giving you fashion advice? Come on. Okay, like, firstly, if he says he wants to have five children with you, doesn't sound that gay. Yeah. I mean, that means you have to have sex at least five, five times, times. Well, or you yeah. could have quintuplets. Whoa. And it would have to be amazing sex for it to yeah. get that far you up. You would have to have some really strong and fertile yeah. little sperm. <laughs> Do you think if he opened up his jab side, it wouldn't make a sound when it came out? Um, go, oh wow, that's a question. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. How exactly do you Come open on. up your jump set? <laughs> you get two pencils and you just rip it apart. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, Casper. Never really thought about that before. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? If it's making noises when yours does that, you might, might want to go to a doctor, man. Stop! I don't think that's normal. Stop it! If your guy likes fashion that has nothing to do with the fact that he, he he's gay or not. And if he likes sport, it has nothing to do with the fact that he's straight or not. It's about what they want to be inside. Yes, good advice, Casper. Thank you. That was so much fun. Oh, what a funny video. Fun. Yeah. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to Dan because- Stop he... hurting me, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just do that again, but with your hands kept yourself. He makes very fun videos. And if you're one of my subscribers that saw this video because I tweeted it or whatever, and you haven't seen Casper before, then click on his face to subscribe to him He's a cool dude. If you have any ideas of who I should interview next, leave their name in a comment below. Pow! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. He knows what it's about.